Now we're going to take care of the Zobra. And again, have all your materials ready. I already cut open a cereal box. If you've never done that before, it's not that hard. Go on the bottom of the box and open this part up and open this part up. And then you're going to want to cut on one side as much as you can on the edge. But it's not, it's okay if it's not perfect. And boom, you have lots of cardboard to work with. I already did this one. I opened it up. And you're going to want to draw these shapes on your cardboard. If they're a little bit different, that's okay. If you're not from Santa Fe, you can draw yours as Zobra, your Anxiety Man, any way that you want to. But I'm going to draw it like this, and then I'm going to show you how to put those together. So you're going to need the basics. You're going to have one arm, two arms, a body, and two legs. You're going to have two holes in each arm. The places where I have the dark circles are where the wire brads go through. These are these little pieces like this. And they open up and they hold it together. The parts that have the red dots, that's where there's a string that goes across and there's a string that goes across. Then you're gonna tie a string from here to here, tie it to this one too, and then when you pull, it will pull them both down to make him jump. That's the mechanism in the back. So there you have a diagram, and you can take a look at it while you're putting your zozobra together. Now I've put all of the holes in each of the sections where there's supposed to be a hole. Two here, two here, two here, two here, two here, and one on each shoulder. We're going to give this guy a face. So um, I want to show you the one that I made earlier. He usually has really big eyes. He usually has one hand pointed in the air and another one in a fist. He usually is wearing a bow tie, which I think is kind of funny, and has a big black belt. And however you want to make his face, if you want to make him happy or sad or yelling, Sometimes he's doing that. We're going to make sure he's got some big eyes. So in between his ears, you're going to make just two circles like that. And put a dot in the middle. Make his nostrils right there so we know where his nose is. And then usually he's got a big mouth. However you want to make it. You can make him angry. Sometimes he has eyebrows like that. Or surprised and he usually has his mouth looks like that like he's yelling so you can make however you like I'm going to give a little bit of definition to his nose there and there we have Zozo I'm going to give him his bow tie because that's traditional we want to be historical and a belt. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put them together. So to put them together, we're going to turn him over. You can see I made this out of a box. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You're going to have that on the back. So you're going to have his arms on either side and we're going to string them together. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some of these brads and we're going to take, actually we're going to do the string first. So I've got a couple sections of string and you want to have string that holds the arms in the middle. There's going to be a string that goes across the top here and then there's going to be a string that goes across here and then there's one that pulls here and that's going to pull down so we're going to get that set and ready to go and I'm going to show you what they I'm going to do each one 
and then you'll see what they look like. Okay, we're going to try putting his legs on now and um, just make sure that they line up like a puzzle like that and notice there's two holes. The holes in the middle, the holes that are in the middle are the ones that are going to be with the string. The holes on the outside are going to be the holes that have the brads in them. So first we're going to just do this. Just tie a little knot. hope you can see that. Just go through one of the holes and wrap it around and tie a knot. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go through that hole. And you can see how they are held together now in the middle. We want to leave about a half an inch or less, just a little bit in the middle that's going to be able so that their legs will move. So we're going to just maybe make it a little bit closer, just a quarter inch, but I have to tie a knot. So I'm going to do that. Again, if you don't know how to tie good, a knot, just tie a lot of good ones and it'll be just fine. It doesn't have to be fancy. We're going to speed this up here. Then we're going to take the breads. So you can see how he's coming together. We're going to make sure that goes through the front, like the buttons in his pants. Take that bread, and they're going to push that through the back part. And this is the one thing I want you to take a look at. I'm going to open the bread. They just fold over really easily. And instead of just making them flat, fold them over in a little bit of a bow. Can you see that? I'm going to fold them over in a little bit of a bow. That gives them a little bit more play so that they can turn around more easily. And when you get them in, turn them around so they go all the way around so you know that the legs and spin. And we're going to get the last one in. We're going to speed this up. Around. Make sure it's moving. Make sure the arms are moving. Make sure they turn around easily, up and down, up and down, legs are moving, legs are moving, and the last step that we're going to do is we're going to take a long string, we're going to take two long strings. The first one we might do is we're going to take one of the breads. And in his head, I want to make a bigger hole there. And you have a popsicle stick, something else, make it a little bit bigger. And you're going to take this long string, fold it in half, just fold it in half. And then you're going to take the double side, and you're going to put that through the hole there right there, put it right through, and then when you have the loop on the back side, you're going to pull that through, then you're going to take the string that's on the front, and you're going to put that through the loop, and you're going to pull it up. Now you're going to have something for him to hang from, and you can make a loop that will fit over your doorknob right there so he can hang there and jump around in your room. And the next thing, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the connection. So we're going to take a longer string also, and we're going to put a loop behind 
the string that's between his two arms, and we're going to tie a knot there. You can use tape if you want to, to make it stronger, but you don't have to. I'm going to just tie a knot right there, tie a couple of them, make sure it stays. Just one knot on top of the other, that turns into a square knot. <laughs> and hopefully that's pretty strong. And then you're going to tie this, do the same thing at the string between his legs. And this is where it gets a little tricky because I didn't leave a lot of space, but you get the idea. We're going to speed that up here. So now there is a string that goes between his two shoulders, down the bottom of his back, between the legs, and down again. And I'm going to do, make sure that goes right underneath, between the legs. Got some little extra spots I can tear off here. Don't want to confuse ourselves with too much string. You want to make sure that it's loose. So I'm going to just check under here that it goes underneath. I don't want it to get caught in this, so I'm going to do it one more time. We're going to stop here and start again in just a second so I can untangle this. So here is my finished Zobra, and he's all put together, and I had a little bit of difficulty in the back. You might have to experiment just to make sure he jumps. It's easy to tie him together. You're going to tie together the two shoulders, tie together the two legs, and tie a string down the middle so that when you pull it, it pulls them up, and it makes him jump. So you can see how that works. And you're all set. So tie him up on your doorknob and shake your gloom away and let's make some gloomies.